Hello, everyone. Uh, Prick Harry did it. <laughs> Um, that's a, uh, just to start off the video real quick, I have a couple um, housekeeping items to go over with you. I had put, um, last week when I was talking about Ian Sexton, or, or, you know, one of Ian Sexton's employees was sent to my, um, sorry, this cord's like in the way, was sent to my, um, hang on, sorry, was sent to my page to talk about, um, you know, the African water and the money lawn currency washing not money laundering currency washing we'll call it currency washing um and so then i just started looking into which brought up well, i was on a live video which brought up uh sent, brought up Centibale again and as soon as i looked at as, as soon as i looked at the Centibale website within about three minutes i'm like oh my god <laughs> like there's something new there well I don't know that it's new but anyway hold on so I'm gonna use my whiteboard that I bought so my new thing now is to just say prick Harry did it because anything that we think that those two are up to they are they are they're up to it so prick Harry did it pound prick Harry did it um so within about three minutes of being on the Centibale website, I found something new. So this is probably, this Prick Harry Centibale um, little series, if you will, it's probably going to be two or three videos, depending on the, the amount of um, detail that you want me to go into. And what I found interesting this time was I'm not really paying attention to the dollar amount because whether they're doing things, whether they're currency washing or things of that nature with $5 or millions of dollars, that doesn't really matter. The numbers don't really matter. What they're doing matters. And there is some very, very shady stuff going on there. So I thought I would walk you guys through it and show you what I see. You're going to die. You're going to die. Because it's crooked. <laughs> oh, and then uh, just real quickly, so Flat Tomato, the Flat Tomato Society was supposed to start today, but for some, when I went to the um, Flat Tomato Society, move over a little bit so you can see my shirt, when I even got shirts made because it was um, a shirt made for myself, I got two shirts made because I thought they would be cute, um, the Flat Tomato Society, it, and then to do StreamYard, it's going to take 24 hours, I don't know why, you know, it's just, how things go for me so that will be out um we'll do flat flat the flat tomato society tomorrow at 3 a.m eastern standard time in the united states so okay let's go through the centibale website shall we oh boy oh and to finish my thought it's not about the money uh, the amount of money it's about what's going on and it's so shady so hang on Okay, so if you just do a simple Google search, um, it pops up as, if you just do Centibale, it pops up that um, Centibale is supporting young people in Southern Africa. Well, how nice, how nice. But, and, and if you'll recall, and I'll get back to that, if you'll recall, I did um, um, a video about how crooked Centibale was a few months ago and King Cece, Ceceo of, uh, is it King Ceceo? Prince Ceceo of Lesotho. Now, Centibale was initially supposed to be just about Lesotho. That's it. Just Lesotho. And, and now it's turned into a bunch of other things and Prick Harry and Prince Lesso, Prince Cicio have been, and this will all be in the video description, or it'll be, the video I did about that will be in the description box, but Prince Harry and this Prince Lesotho, or Prince Cicio of Lesotho started um, uh, Centibale back in 2006, so these two have been at it since 2006, and you'll, as you'll see in the, the Lesotho video, Lesotho and other surrounding areas, but specifically Lesotho, they were supposed to help orphans of people with AIDS or HIV in Lesotho. And they've been at it since 2006. So all this money has been dumped in there and Lesotho has one of the highest prevalent rates 
in the world for HIV and AIDS. Um, where's all the money? Where did it go? Because you know, for people, because forget about like curing or, you know, ab, not abstinence, but way of stopping AIDS from spreading. They have medicine now and they've had medicine for a very long time um, to where it won't even show up on an AIDS test or an HIV test, like a blood test. They, you know, whatever medicine they take, it, it goes down so far and it's untraceable or it, it I'm not sure if, un, if traceable is the right word, but it does not show up on an AIDS test. That's how like you know, dormant it is, I suppose. Um, so why do they have, wh why? Why is it so high? Are they not giving them the medicine? Where's the money going? Back to that. So just wanted to point out since 2006, um, they haven't done anything. At least for Lesotho, it's main thing. Now back to Centibale. So you type in Centibale and its stated mission is that it's for for young people in Southern Africa. Okay, great, fine. So here's the Centibale website. I have it already opened. And if you'll see, when I went here, there are all sorts of new program partners. Different than a, like two months ago when I did this. Um, with the last video, you have PEPFAR, which is the United States President's Emergency Plan for AIDS, which is started having basically corruption issues going on in what year? I, you'll never guess what year. 2006. But Prick Harry's got all kinds of new partners here. I did look into um, the PEPFAR, so that's going to be PEPFAR and a few others, but those are going to be I want to I want to look deeper into his partners also because you know you got UNICEF there which is part of the UN you know diamonds for good uh huh just like the diamond earrings she used were for good mm hmm and all these different places but today I want to look into um, so if you go to the menu here and it says and so I immediate so I went to the menu I noticed that they were all different. But they're not. So if you go down to American Friend, if you go, well, first, if you go to About Us, all of Prick Harry's older partners, and here's all his board of trustees, etc., are all there. But now here's his older partners. Now, why aren't these front and center anymore? Are they hiding these like the Canadian Air Force? Are they hiding that? Starling Bank, are these hiding? Because they used to be on the first page, but now all that other stuff is. Okay, I had to pause it for a second. So why are these on like a hidden second page, especially the Canadian Air Force? I don't know. That's a good question. Now, I can understand that they got more partners and there may not be enough room in the you know, the line that they have going on here. So, but, you know, if it were me and I worked in marketing and business development and website design and the rest of it for about um, 12, 10, 12 years, and I've done other things, I've designed websites. So um, just because I don't, you know, I always have problems with YouTube doesn't mean I don't know how to set these up and how they should be set up. If it were me and I, w I was w working with li limited uh, real estate, as they call it, you know, I would keep some of the old ones, add some of the new ones, like, you know, the higher profile ones. So why is the Can Canadian Air Force left on the second page? Now, is this just out of sh sheer laziness? I don't know. But that's a pretty impressive one. That's a pretty impressive one. But... We will go on from here. Just a something that I noticed. So we're going to go to the menu here first. Um, I will get to the Centibale financials, but there are other financials that I found when I was looking on here. There is an American Friends of Centibale, which I found quite interesting.
So I clicked on it. So American Friends of uh, Centibale is obviously a, you know, related because they're using the same logo, which means that the same person did it. It's the same logo except the American Friends. So it's, for all intents and purposes, the same thing. The same thing. There's just a separate, it's a separate enti entity financially, which is always interesting. So then all the way down here at the bottom, and I'm now that I'm looking at this, I'm going to have to look into what this fund, fundraising regulator is also. We'll get there. So all the way here at the bottom, you can look at the Friends of Centibale's IRS details, their tax, their actual tax filings. Now, usually like charities, they don't, they just put up their annual, annual reports, which are not their actual tax filings. But lucky for us, folks, lucky for us, the American Friends of Centibale put their IRS details up. So, so this is the legit tax forms. And the, and what I also found was found interesting was you can't get to year 21 2021 should be up. It's July. Our tax days are as everyone should know because there were wars fought over it and etc is April 15th is the big tax day here. So where are the forms? So all I have um, to go to, it go off of is, is, is 2020. So that's the best I can do until they put them up. Why aren't they up? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but this is, oh, that'll show you, that'll show on the form here. Where was I? That's not, I apologize. We'll just have to go to them again. American Friends of Centibale. So um, they have these, well, I'll just click on this. They have these accountants. This is, these are their accountants. They're out of New York City. I looked up the, I looked up the address. They didn't have, they just had the address, but I figured out who it was. So these are all these people. Like I said, this is might be a project, depending on how far you guys want me to go. But these people are out in New York City. So we can do, just go down here one more time. And we're going to, hang on. Okay, so here are all the tax, for, oh, I see why I couldn't find it. So we're going to look at 2020, because those will show, um, those will show years past, so I don't have to go back and look at, um, and I will be looking, I will be comparing the financial statements or the annual reports of Centibale to these, so that should be fun. I didn't get that, it didn't get that far yet, but I can only imagine what it looks like. My accounting class is finally coming in, coming, um, coming in handy, folks. Okay, so we have name of the organization, American Friends of Centibale Foundation. Their employer identification is number, and that's their tax number. But they left a goodie in here for us too, folks. Just wait till you see. 26-577639, that's their tax number. The name, in, the name and address of Principal Officer Richard Miller is who is in charge of Centibale. Uh, excuse me. The American Friends of Centibale. So if, if you just type, I did a search here, Richard, um, Richard Miller is the Chief Executive of Centibale. But I'm looking at his LinkedIn stuff. I didn't want to like log into like LinkedIn um, on my computer. I just don't. So let me show you. Okay, so I have um, I have his little 
Richard Miller. I'm gonna, he he's has over 35 years of international development experience in the nonprofit charity sector. Um, he has a special long-term interest. It, he quotes, "I have a special, I have a special long-term interest, and in South Southern Africa." Another another do-gooder, folks. The place is crawling with him. <laughs> another do-gooder. Uh, so he's the chief executive of Centibale, um Well, it says Centibale, not friends of. So if he's actually the chief, unless he's just hyping up his, yeah. So it just says Centibale. Um He's not on the regular website where it lists all the people. He's not listed. He's not on there. <laughs> so, um, okay, so uh, he's been there since May of 2019, three years and three months. He worked for Action Aid for 15 years, International Humanitarian Director, Action Aid International. Chief Executive at Action Aid. So they've got a pretty. Uh, you know, a pretty serious person with quite a resume running Friends of Centibale, American Friends of Centibale, and they don't really deal in that much money. That's why I said it doesn't, money doesn't, I mean, it is if you're dealing with Africa and like others, you know, I mean, it. it's all relative, folks. But, um, yeah, so, I don't know. Let's get back to it. Okay, so, so Richard Miller's, um, that's the the SK, SKPLLP is the accounting firm that they use, and they're on Broadway in New York, New York City. Pretty fancy, pretty fancy. Um, and the briefly describe the organization or, organization's mission or most significant activities to to promote the health and wealth the health welfare and education of the people of Lesotho. But nobody ever talks about Lesotho. And no money ever goes to Lesotho, in one man's personal opinion. Because it has the, one of the highest AIDS and HIV rates. Which it was supposed to be about, but that's health and welfare. So, they have the highest thing, but it's about the people of Lesotho. Young people. Uh, their messaging, and with the people that they have and their ability to hire people, they can, um, you know, their messaging isn't consistent. It's, But on the IRS tax form, you bet your arse it's going to be pretty honest on there. They can play around, but so who are they lying to? The IRS or the, the donators? Because its stated intent is Lesotho, just like the other one. Okay, so just real quickly, like I said, I'm not going to pay attention to these numbers until I look at their annual reports because this would that would take me. I mean, no, I'm not complete. I'm just saying the, this video would be a long, a lot longer if I did all that now. So I'm going to. So in the prior year, which would have been 2019, they doubled their contributions and grants. Okay. And they'll show other uh, other years on everything. Um, yeah. So I'm just, I'm sorry, I just, I'm, I'm just <laughs> glancing at these. So here's, here's the um, accountant's number. Um, and then again, Briefly describe the organization's mission to promote the health and welfare and education of people of the people of Lesotho or Lesotho, I think it was Lesotho, and particularly its orphans and vulnerable children, including without limitation, providing monetary and other assets to charities and nonprofit organizations, which further their purposes of the corporation. 
corporation? And to educate and inform the public at large about the health, welfare, educational needs of the people of Lesotho. Corporation? What corporation? <laughs> if somebody could maybe... So I just, I just paused the video and I read it again. What corporation? Further the interests of the corp their corporation. So if anybody can let me know, I just don't think it sounds good. Who's the corporation? Whose corporation? What's the name? Who says it? Oh, boy. I'll read this one more time, folks. To promote the health, welfare, and education of the people of Lesotho, Lesotho, and particularly its orphans. I don't see anything about AIDS or HIV in here. And particularly its orphans and vulnerable children including without limitation, providing monetary and other asset assistance to charities and nonprofit organizations, you know, like the Clinton Foundation, which further their purposes of the corporation and to educate and inform the public at large about the health, welfare, and educational, educational needs of the people of Lesotho. So, yeah, I'm going to just keep scrolling. Um, I have these things highlighted. So, in 2020, the average hours per week that any of these employees of Centibale or people that work their board directors or whatever, not at all in 2020, They all work zero. Put zero times zero, 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 zero. I wonder if Craig R. Parker is their attorney because they do, they did pay an attorney, but yet this says that he wasn't working those days. Ever. <clears throat> so he just got a check for Fundraising events. Is that sh I'm just showing you that they're not dealing with it. A not until the end, but it's still not a lot of money. So this one I liked. Grants and other assistance to foreign organizations, foreign governments, and foreign individuals. $132,000. Okay. That, remember that. Remember that one thirty-two. Here we go. Legal fees. Now, they could have another attorney, but I'm not sure why they would have an attorney um, on the board and not donate his services, especially. So, for legal fees, somebody got a check for $24,225, but if we go back here, he didn't do anything. So... I'll have to save to see if he's on the video for the next one. These people are not going to like me at all, but that's okay. They don't like me anyway. Okay, legal. There you go. More just numbers and stuff. Like I said, I will do the numbers when I look at the, the stuff. This is about shadiness. So in 2019, they had 26,000 in assets. And now they have 270000 in assets. When that assets. They also have a um, conflict of interest that they write. But we can find out more about that. Okay, just numbers. So, okay. Grants, gifts, contributions. So in twenty six, so in twenty sixteen, they were doing okay. Well, less than half. No, yeah, a little less than half. Um, or no, ha oh, it's half, or less than half. Um, and then they, they only did you know three hundred some thousand 
or that's only 300 some thousand and then they kicked up really high in 2020 what happened in 2020 the oprah interview happened in 2020 no i don't know if the, anything has to do with anything but that sure picked up in 2020 they that that donation sure did pick up like big time or, or, or the grants paid out or whatever. However, the, I forget which li the line item it was. But, you know, was that... Because they would... They did have... Tax day would be like a, about a month before Oprah. Give or take a week. So they spent... Or they're spending... It was grants, gifts, contribution... They spent a lot in 2020. Right. Um... Okay, just more money. Yeah, the numbers don't look, don't, this is like crooked. Okay. So they gave, um, they gave 132,000 to Europe in 2020. And so remember, here's your grants and other assistance to foreign organizations, foreign governments, and foreign individuals in Europe for the exact same amount. So why? Who? Why? It's supposed to be for the people of Lesotho and or Southern Africa. And the countries that it went to, folks, or uh, Europe, including Iceland and Greenland, Albania, Andorra, Austria, Belgium. Now, I don't know, but I didn't think Lesotho, Lesotho was in Europe, especially Iceland, Greenland, Albania, Andorra, Austria, and Belgium. Now, why would they give them an electric payment in the EFT? Why? For $132,000. I don't know. I don't know, folks. Then we have here... Uh, part one, monitoring funds. Yes, they have a disqualified persons in here. They have to list them. So I'll, let me just go over what. Um, contributor. So, yeah, somebody's on there. So it, that's definitely crooked, too. But we'll get back to that when... Um, Grant was provided to a related organization. Three members on the governing body of the grant maker also serve on the governing body of the related organization. Get out! See, I have all their names. I'm going to have to look th for them. Therefore, these members ensure that the funds received by the related organization are being used to support the grant maker's mission. But they sit on the same board, folks. Grant was given to promote the health, welfare, and education of the people of Lesotho. But it matches... It, but they said... You know. You know. Then we have the Aspen Valley Polo Club, which is, you know, par for the course, if you will. Um, and then each member of the board of directors is provided with a copy of the complete, comp completed tax return for their review and approval. So they all approved this. They've all approved it. Annual completion of the contract conflict of in interest form, which is a disqualified person. The governing body documents conflict of interest statement and the financial statements are available to the public upon request. There's the little gift that's in there, folks. Um, we could see all that. If somebody, now I'm not sure if I, because I like to keep things moving, but, you know, based on what, what page is this? Oops, like marking that up. 
Um, um, I had was searching for the word disqualified. You can search PDF. Um, in case anyone's wondering. So if anybody wants to get the American Friends of Centibale stuff, there's all your, I mean, I, I read all the information out to you. See, you know, see everything. The stuff that's hidden. Richard Miller, he's out of New York. Craig Parker, Esquire, Main Street, Bedford Hills, New York. Damian West, Bell Cottage, Stratton. All the way there by sister Oxfordshire, UK. John Hornby, courtesy of Craig Parker. So there's one guy who lives in the UK, and that's Craig R. Parker. And I think he might be on the um, the thing on the front page. But then, so then we have Centibale, UK, which is on Gressa Street in the London, UK. And that's your 501c3 charitable. So why is that? Oh, so so that's tax exempt too. So, sent to ball. So right there, um, related tax exempt organizations during the tax year. Sent to ball a UK. That's you know South. I mean that's them. So they're related. They're related. Thank you IRS form, and hopefully there's going to be some people interested enough to look into to request it from these people. I'll show you the accounting. You can send it to, I'll give you the. Okay, so if you want to look for, here's the contact info. It's go to American Friends of Centibale. Um, here's the American Friends of, American Friends of Centibale Foundation, courtesy of SKPLLP, 1675 Broadway, 20th floor, New York, New York and then so it would say I want to see their tax returns they said that we could online on page 33 um, halfway down return reference form 990 section C line 19 Governing documents, conflict of interest statement, and the financial statements are available to the public upon request. Now, I would think that Centibale is going to have to be pretty much the same thing. But I haven't looked on their, I haven't looked at their financials since October. I've looked at the site and at the company, so, you know. But they never had these IRS tax forms on there. This is their American way of shuffling things around, evidently. Uh, currency washing vote. Okay, so American friends of Centibale are um, really friends of Europe. <laughs> they're, fr they're friends of Europe, so that's who they are, are friends with. Um, that's interesting. So I'm going to keep looking through the website. I'll look at those financials. I personally am not going to... Um, call that accounting firm because I just don't I already know <laughs> I already know what it's going to say and like I said there's like there's this disqualified person and that could mean a million different things I had it pulled up but I gave you the information so in 2006 and this is coming up for the next video the PAPFAR let me see is it next? um Pep, I can't find it. Pep, Pepfar, the president, the United States president's thing that's on there now. And the Canadian Air Force just got moved to it. Um, but in 2006, they started having like corruption things going on. Precarian Princesio started in new 2006, and then. AIDS is the worst, worst it's ever been in Lesotho. Lesotho. I apologize if I'm not. But yet the money's going to New York and like Belgium and Brussels, whatever that list was. So I am definitely looking forward to your comments here. I am going to put the uh, disclaimer at the end this time because I actually forgot to put it up. I didn't pull a PowerPoint up yet, but I will have to make my thumbnail. 
so and so yes i am and, and don't pay attention to the numbers this is the their system the system um looking forward to your comments definitely crooked Precary did it. Precary did it. And also, Nacho Figueres is also, uh, his cologne, I think, in one of my lives, someone brought it up that, you know, he's supposed to be giving his charitable do donations there. I mean, what a load of shite. And now, down in the bottom left, right-hand corner, is involved. Trudeau has to be involved because of the Canadian Royal Air Force. So again, looking forward to your comments. Thank you.